So over here you can see that I'm on my Snagit editor and over here at the bottom the things that you see, the thumbnails that you see are the screenshots that we took so far. So this is the screenshot that I recently took. This is the one we took in the last lesson. And similarly, you can click and choose the screenshot that you want to work with just like that. You can see that this is the tray and you can also hide the tray by clicking on the recent uh, word right here. And what happens is that the tray is hidden out. So you can open up the tray right here by clicking on recent and choose any of the screenshot that you want to work with. And over here in the editing window, you can start working around with it. So now let's see some further options. So in order to work with it, you might have to zoom around. So in order to do that, you can see that there's the zoom option right here. And you can just go around and choose the zoom level you want, just like that. You can also go for the actual size, which brings up the actual size of the image. And you can enter the percentage of zoom you want. Let's say, for example, 200% zoom, then it is right here, just like that. You can go over here to scroll around onto the side as well and scroll around into different sections of the image to edit it out as well. You can also go around, hold uh, control and then use the scroll mouse button to zoom in and zoom out. You can also go over here onto this section, for example, hold control and use the middle mouse button to scroll in, zoom in, scroll in, zoom in to different sections of the image just like that. And that is how you can navigate around. So you can also go over here. You can see that there's height and uh, width, uh, um, height and width pixels given for this particular image. And this is how you can navigate around and work with, uh, work with tree inside of Snagit editor in order to start editing your pictures. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.